10 Costly Mistakes Tourists Make in Las Vegas Tourists in Vegas often make mistakes because they aren't unfamiliar with the area, don't understand how gambling works or the rules of certain games, and may not be aware of all the potential scams that can occur. Additionally, tourists may become overly intoxicated or distracted by all the lights and sounds which could lead to poor decision-making. It is easy to get caught up in the excitement of Las Vegas and make decisions that may not be wise or prudent. Common mistakes include gambling too much, drinking too much, spending money on activities they don't need and forgetting to budget for food and entertainment expenses. Are you planning on going to Vegas too? Here are 10 costly mistakes you might make there. 10. Attempting to walk the entire strip Attempting to walk the entire strip in Vegas can be considered a mistake for tourists because it is extremely long, usually ranging from 4 to 6 miles. Walking this distance can take hours and leave little time for sightseeing or enjoying other activities along the way. Las Vegas temperatures can get very hot during the summer months, making such an endeavor even more difficult. With the extreme temperatures, walking such a long distance can quickly become tiring and uncomfortable. Furthermore, there are many distractions along the strip that could distract you from your goal of completing the hike. Not just that, some areas may not be safe or comfortable to walk through late at night. 9. Spending your whole time in the city Spending your whole time in the city of Las Vegas can be a bad idea because all the attractions are located outside of the city, such as Red Rock Canyon, Hoover Dam and Lake Mead. Additionally, it is easy to get caught up in gambling and other activities that can lead to overspending or even addiction. You can in the following activities. 1. Hiking Red Rock Canyon, Valley of Fire State Park, Mount Charleston and the Hoover Dam are all great places to go for a hike in Vegas away from the city. 2. Camping There are numerous campgrounds located around Las Vegas that offer camping spots for tents and RVs alike. Some popular campsites include Lake Mead National Recreation Area and Spring Mountain Ranch State Park. 3. Off-roading If you're looking for an adrenaline rush, then off-roading is definitely something to look into. There are plenty of trails near Las Vegas where you can take your 4x4 out on an adventure through the desert landscape. 4. Boating and Fishing Take a boat or kayak out onto one of Nevada's many lakes or reservoirs like Lake Mojave or Lake Mead where you can fish, swim or just relax by the water's edge with friends and family. 5. Stargazing The night sky in Vegas is full of stars, so why not take advantage? Head out to one of the many dark sky parks in Nevada, such as Great Basin National Park or Spring Mountain Ranch State Park, and experience the beauty of a night sky unspoiled by light pollution. 8. Do not show you're a newbie Exposing yourself as a newbie in Vegas can be a bad idea because it makes you an easy target for scams and hustles. Many people in Vegas are looking to take advantage of inexperienced tourists, so being open about your lack of knowledge or experience could leave you vulnerable. It is best to not act like a newbie in Vegas because it can make you an easy target for scams and other unethical practices. It's also important to remember that Las Vegas is a city of experienced gamblers, so acting like a newbie can draw unwanted attention and push you at risk of being taken advantage of by more experienced players. 7. Renting a renter car Renting a car in Las Vegas can be a bad idea for several reasons. First, parking fees in the city are steep and you may have difficulty finding affordable spots to park your rental car. Additionally, traffic congestion on the strip is notoriously heavy during peak hours, making it difficult to navigate the area quickly. Finally, if you plan on drinking while visiting Las Vegas, driving a rental car is not recommended due to the risk of DUI charges or other legal issues resulting from operating a vehicle under the influence of alcohol. The best way to move around in Vegas is by taxi or rideshare services such as Uber or Lyft. Las Vegas also has a good public transportation system with buses and monorails that cover most major routes throughout the city. 6. Don't underestimate the airport Harry Reid International Airport is widely considered to be one of the best airports in the world. It boasts a modern, efficient design with plenty of amenities and services for travelers. The airport also has hundreds of shops and restaurants as well as art installations throughout. 
Additionally, Las Vegas McCarran is conveniently located just minutes away from downtown Las Vegas and other popular attractions in the area. Underestimating the Vegas airport can prove to be a mistake for travelers because it is one of the busiest airports in the United States. It serves over 45 million passengers annually and its size and layout can make it confusing to navigate. In addition, there are often long lines at security checkpoints due to high passenger traffic, which may lead to missed flights or connections if travelers do not plan accordingly. 5. Paying full price for Las Vegas shows Paying the full price for Las Vegas shows can be a bad idea because there are usually discounts available. Many of the shows in Las Vegas offer discounted tickets or package deals that include multiple show tickets and meals at a discounted rate. Additionally, many hotels on the Strip will have exclusive offers for their guests, which can help save money. It is always best to check online before buying tickets to ensure you are getting the best deal possible. The best way to pay for Las Vegas shows is typically with a credit card. Most major venues accept major credit cards such as Visa, MasterCard, American Express and Discover. Additionally, some venues may also accept debit cards or cash payments. 4. Do not avoid the buffets. Buffets in Las Vegas are known for their high-quality food and variety. Many of the buffets offer unique dishes that can't be found anywhere else, as well as a wide selection of both local and international cuisine. Additionally, they often offer discounts and deals to make them more affordable. Therefore, avoiding buffets in Las Vegas may mean missing out on an enjoyable dining experience. Before you go to a buffet, do some research on the menu and reviews of the restaurant to get an idea of what items are available, which ones are best and how much it typically costs. Many buffets offer discounts for locals or those with certain memberships. Ask about these options before sitting down to eat so that you can save money where possible. Make sure you know what dishes you want to try before heading up to the buffet line. 3. Booking cheap hotels in the city Booking a cheap hotel in Las Vegas can be a bad idea because these hotels often have outdated amenities, poor customer service and inadequate security. 1. Poor quality Many cheap Vegas hotels are poorly maintained and offer substandard furniture, bedding and amenities. 2. Unsafe environment Cheap hotels in Vegas tend to attract a lot of drug use and other illegal activities that can make guests feel unsafe. 3. Noise issues Because these hotels are usually located close to nightclubs or bars, noise levels can be quite high during the night hours. 4. Crowded facilities Cheap Vegas hotels often have more rooms than they can accommodate, so the facilities may be overcrowded with long wait times for services like elevators or room service. 5. Limited amenities most cheap hotels do not provide many amenities such as swimming pools, fitness centers, restaurants or spas which can limit your enjoyment while staying at the hotel. 2. Missing out on hospitality deals Missing out on hospitality deals in Vegas can be a bad idea because you may miss out on exclusive discounts, rewards and promotions that are only available to those who have taken advantage of the hospitality packages. These offers often provide access to unique entertainment experiences, special dining options and exclusive hotel rates that cannot be found anywhere else. Additionally, many of these packages include complimentary transportation services or discount tickets for popular attractions around town. By missing out on these opportunities, visitors could end up paying more money than they would have if they had taken advantage of the deals offered by the casinos and hotels in Las Vegas. 1. Expecting to win big Odds are always stacked against you. The casinos have an edge on every game and it is impossible to beat them consistently over time. As such, there is no guarantee of winning when visiting Las Vegas and many people come away with less than they expected or hoped for. Tourists are unfamiliar with the environment, don't understand all of the rules and regulations and may be easily tempted by too many distractions. Not just that, the high-pressure environment encourages people to take risks, coupled with the easy access to alcohol and other substances. The combination of these factors can lead people to make decisions they may later regret.